Hello everybody, this is the Drake Veteran and I'm here to explain how to download Drake software. So, the first thing you need to do is go to support.drakesoftware.com Then once you've done that, you're going to go down to download, then to Drake Tax, and then you're going to select the download button. This is going to start to download the Drake 21 executable, in this case. And once it's done downloading, go ahead and run it. So after running it, this is the screen you're going to see. It's the Drake installer, and so we're going to open that up. Uh, choose where to install it, and choose the states to install. Then you're going to accept the terms of a service and agreement. The terms of service agreement. Then you're going to enter the account number and the serial number. If you aren't sure where to find your account number and serial number, you can find them both under on the support site, under account, account info. And you can copy the entire serial number and paste it into the installer and into the software whenever you first open it up. you see what I mean in a second. So now that you've entered your account information, you're going to keep on hitting next. You can read these pages if you want to, I'm not going to. So I'll just keep on hitting next and then hit install. And I'm gonna hit pause for a second and we'll resume once the installation is almost finished. The installation is complete and the installer doesn't close by itself. You have to hit finish. And you have the Drake icon on your desktop, so go ahead and double click to open it up. And if this is your first time installing the software, or if you don't have a previous year, and you didn't update, then it will ask for your account number and serial number immediately. If you did update your previous year uh, during the installation process, then you have to enter login. You have, you have admin on the username, then you hit login, and then this will pop up. So it's the same thing here, you just enter your account number and your serial number. Then there's password creation. The requirements on the right hand side is going to be eight characters long with um, one capital, one lowercase, and one number and one special character. Then uh, most of you should have access to the support site to create a skeleton key. Um, it's going to be all the owners and I think anybody who has administrator rights can use the online password recovery instead of the software password recovery. And the nice thing about that is that you don't need to remember these passwords for each individual year of Drake software. You just need to remember what your, what your security questions were and their answers on the support site. MFA. So in 2021, Drake software is beginning to prompt you to uh, activate MFA. And the reason why is because if I'm not mistaken, the IRS sent out a, a article saying that they are strongly recommending that taxpayers use MFA. I don't believe that it's required just yet, but it looks like it's headed that direction. So just keep a lookout for that. I'm not going to activate it at this time, so I'm going to choose opt out. If you want to activate it, do not scan it with your camera and then enter the pass and then enter the code. That will not help. What you need to do is you need to install an authenticator app like Google Authenticator, scan the barcode, and then um, then you can enter the code. And every time that you log in after that, you enter your password and you enter the MFA. So every time Drake opens up, it's going to ask for updates. And you want to always update. If you don't update, or if it lets you go into the software without updating, that's an issue or it will create issues further down the line. So always update. And my updates have completed. So I'm gonna hit continue and it should log me back in automatically. Perfect. So here you can either import settings or you can go to quick setup. If you're importing settings, it's actually both are pretty straightforward. Um, but you go here and then you can choose pairs, firms, general settings. You only need these three on the left hand side. And once you've imported, you need to go to Setup Firms and enter the e-file password. Otherwise, you won't be able to confirm your EFIN and you won't be able to e-file. If this is your first time doing it, or if you choose the Quick Setup, that's not an issue. Whenever you do the Quick Setup, uh, it asks for your e-file password. Here, I'll show you. So to ask for your account number, your EFIN, and your e-file password. And then that means whenever you go to Firm Information, You can enter your EFIN, you can fail to all these red boxes, and then you can confirm your EFIN and you'll be ready for e-filing. Uh, you can also import some settings. 
and then once they've got their green check marks, go back and then go to quick setup and the information should be in there. Whenever you update prepares, uh, it's going to... No, I was just kidding, this isn't update prepares, this is the quick setup. So going back, updating prepares, importing to prepares. Whenever you import prepares, there'll be a checkbox at the bottom that says, I have verified each prepares beaten, and you need to check that box. But once you've done all of that, you're ready to go. And you can start uh, creating returns and e-filing in Drake software. If you guys have any more questions or if you guys have something in particular that you'd like to see about how the software works, or if you guys want to see tips and tri uh, <laughs> tips and tricks, then I'm more than happy to show you guys that. Just tell me what you guys need. Uh, if you guys want to see more content, content like this, then please hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you around.